I want to show you in a moment what Khalid Mashal said to me about how he views uh, what's happening in the Middle East. Once the occupation yeah, yeah, yeah. comes to an end, the violence or the uh, resistance will come to an end. Today, in the West Bank, is there resistance? There is no resistance in the West Bank. Mahmoud Abbas and Salam Bayad, stop it. Why Israel doesn't withdraw? So the problem is not with the resistance. When the occupation comes to an end, the resistance will end. Khaled al-Mashal reigns over a movement which is a radical terrorist movement. Unfortunate for the Palestinian people, they are totally different from Abu Mazen and, and Salam Fayyad. They led terrorist activities against Israeli citizens. They are just in the last few years, last seven years, they uh, bombarded Israel with Yasser thousands. Yasser Arafat led terrorist activities against Israeli citizens. You went and negotiated yeah, the, with him. You yeah, went and yeah, negotiated yeah. with him at Camp David and came close, some say, yeah, yeah. to but at certain, political risk. Yeah, at certain point, uh, Yasser Arafat said, OK, I will try. He didn't live up to his commitment, but he said, I will try to avoid terror, to put an end to it, and to try to negotiate some peace. Uh, uh, I he accept, just said that they'll put an end to the resistance. In general, he said they accept in general the concept of, of dealing with an Israel, Israeli state. That's something that he also he never lived up to it when the moment of truth came. But at least he uh, 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 played the game uh, this way for quite a mileage. I never heard the Hamas saying something similar. Never. Until now, probably they will say something. If they... If they live up to the four, uh, four uh, uh, demands of the quartet, they probably will cease to be the Hamas we knew. And, uh, so uh, it's possible that Hamas could change? Uh, you know, everything is possible, but uh, we have to wait and see that it happens. You know, basically, when people ask me, how come that you believe that now uh, negotiation, direct negotiation with the Palestinians could lead to something when you personally uh, experienced it failing 10 years ago, I said, People do change. When I came back from uh, Camp David, both Ehud Olmert, future prime minister, right. or Tzipi Livni, future leader of uh, main, uh, main um, party Kadimi, that supports and, peace, and, and, and they and were minister. extremely against it. They said it's uh, almost a crime what Barak was ready to do. It ended up that now a uh, change. The same happens and could happen on the other side. 30 years ago, the Arabs competed, uh, uh, rejecting any proposal for peace. In the last decade, they are competing whose uh, peace plan will be adopted by the rest of the world as a reference. So people do change. They, they have to... to to paraphrase on Martin Luther King, the, the arc of, of the Middle East uh, conflict between us and the, uh, the neighbors is a very long one, but it bent toward uh, uh, reconciliation, toward uh, uh, solving it very slowly, but in a direction. And we should not uh, uh, let the, the opportunity slip out of our hands. Okay. And but there is an opportunity now. Opportunity for direct talks with for direct talks with, with President uh, with Nathu, President Abbas and Prime yeah, Minister Fayyad. Yeah, not but with Khalid Mashal. No, no, no. Yeah, they a, have to, they have to reach their own. You know, we we. I but, and you're think. okay if they reach their own agreement. Yeah. If the Palestinians yeah. come to you and say we have reconciled with Hamas, yeah. y you're fine with that. Yeah, and, uh, it, it's not that simple. But basically, we do not pretend to be able to uh, uh, negotiate the relationship between Hamas and and the PA. We feel that the authentic, legitimate representative of the Palestinian people is the PA and the Fatah movement. If we uh, involve or, or try to 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 um, meddle in this issue, we'll end up somehow making it worse. I, I don't think that it's our role, but they are basically two branches of the same national movement, Hamas and the Fatah. And we prefer, I think, that every uh, normal uh, leader in the world should prefer that the PA will uh, take the lead. If they reach certain understanding between them that leave the lead and the legitimacy in the hand of 
the PA and they will represent the Palestinian people. We will have, of course, to negotiate sure. with them. But as long as the Hamas is there, there is a major problem because the reality is that the PA negotiating with us, but they do not control one third of their people and an extremely crucial piece of land that gives them the connection to the sea and to the rest of the world. That's part of their, their uh, future state. And I think that basically that's the, the most important element for us in peace, because we know where basically the domain uh, is that peace could be achieved. It's exactly the same issues were on the table 10 years ago at Camp David or in Annapolis a few years ago.